us today is Jessica Hansmeyer, who's a nurse and gonna to talk to us about Healthcare Month and what it means to be a nurse. Welcome, Jessica. Hi, thank you so much for having me, Jamie. Yes, thank you. Yes. Will you start with telling us how long you've worked at your job and where it is you're working? Yeah, absolutely. So like Jamie said, I'm Jess Hansmeyer. I'm a current registered nurse um, at Olmstead Medical Center in Rochester, Minnesota. I currently work in the ambulatory outpatient setting, um, actually in a hybrid clinic. Um, we do primary care walk-in patients um, and we also do scheduled. So we are like an acute care walk-in, um, but we also accept um, primary care scheduled appointments. Um, I have been at Olmstead Medical Center for just short of two years now. This is my first um, RN job and um, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, since graduation, I actually went to NICC in Kelmer, Iowa um, for my LPN, and then I did the RN there as well. I obtained my BSN degree from Upper Iowa University, and I am currently enrolled actually at Allen College in Waterloo um, for my um, DNP, which is my Doctorate of Nursing Practice with the um, focus on family medicine. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is quite a journey and goal that you have. Yes, absolutely. Reach for the stars. <laughs> yeah. So what is it that made you want to be a nurse and how old were you when you decided to do that path? Yeah. So actually what I did after high school is I actually went to a community college in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, I didn't quite know what exactly I wanted to do. Um, so I did um, a medical assisting. I got a job at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, um, did that for about three years. And in the meantime, that's when I, when I saw what nurses do and how they change um, people and how they're really, they're very much so looked up to um, and always striving to make the best version of a patient of them like for themselves and their families um, and just how how trustful patients are with nurses just made me really feel that like I want to be that difference for the patient um, and that was really um, working as my like clinical assistant position, I really found out that I really do want to be a nurse and make the make the change and help as many patients as I can. Okay, so that brings up the next question then. What does it mean to get that next degree? Because to me, that means maybe you're not a nurse. So can you describe that for us? Yes. So um, what as far as like my journey to become a nurse, so um, what I personally did is then I went back to um, NICC in Kelmer. I did my one year of prerequisitions um, for the LPN program, which is a one year. Um, and then so a prerequisite for to begin the RN program at NICC in Kelmer, um, you actually need to pass your LPN boards. Um, so this was something where, and they do that because then you have the um, atmosphere in your, they train you. So they do that because then it's not your first time taking the boards as an RN. So then they're adequately preparing you um, educationally for your RN boards, but then you're not completely blindsided as far as um, the environment of which you're in, etc. Um, and then from there, my LPN program took, so it was one year of prerequisites, and then um, my LPN program was one full year, and then um, I never took a break. I went right into the ADN program for my LPN, um, and then from there, um, I actually started working full-time after my ADN, and then I went to school full-time as well for my BSN degree, um, but it's it all, it literally goes to show that the profession of nursing is always changing and that it, it regardless of where, where, or what you want to do there, the options are endless in healthcare. Um, so even though you may not care for your um, position, say on a medical surgical ward, um, it's, the opportunities are endless. And then with the advancement of education and the more education you get, um, the more opportunities you're really setting yourself up for. And what does a DNP mean? What does, what is that 
job opening going to do for you? Yes. So the DNP is a doctorate of nursing practice. So I will be able to work as a nurse practitioner um, and be a provider for patients. So I will be able just as um, a physician's assistant or an NP may be, um, it is something that I I will be able to have my own panel of patients care for them in, in a mean as I normally would. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm excited to develop that and have my own set of patients. And so how much more schooling will that take? Because you've described a year and you're mm -hmm. on an MPSN. So what's, yes. what's the additional cost? Yeah, so I will actually be just doing the DNP program part time. It'll take me four years. Um, I am so I have about three years or so left of that, um, which is completely fine with me because I feel that with my current job, I'm still learning things every day. Um, and with that being said, the additional education will just help me, obviously, for my family nurse practitioner. Um, but it'll still allow me to see such a nice wide array of things as well to prepare myself for that. It sounds like you're very focused on the patient and wanting to help them. So what else is it that motivates you to stay in this profession and have such a deep passion that you're describing? Yeah, so I would say the big thing is that we, we are changing people's lives. We are making, we are trying our best to make the best of themselves. Um, and it is, it is really an inspiration to see patients change, like even just on a daily basis and to know behind that, that you're the nurse that's really pushing them to do that. Um, it's eye-opening and it's, it's just very inspiring to see this, the changes that we make as nurses. Very cool. Could you identify for us what the starting pay might be for a nurse just starting in this field? Yeah, absolutely. So for a RN um, in Minnesota, so it is a little bit, quite a bit different actually between Minnesota and Iowa, um, but the starting wage for nurses in Rochester, Minnesota as an outpatient um, is about $29.50 or so. Okay. And then as far as an Iowa RN starting job, it's about 22 to 24. So a little more competition up this way. It is, yes. <laughs> You mentioned boards. Um, would you say when looking at the nursing side of things that those boards are a hard piece to accomplish or is it pretty comfortable or where do you think? Um, so boards, boards are difficult, um, but I don't want that to turn someone away from choosing nursing because of boards. Um, the reason there's boards is because we need to make sure and they need to make sure that we're competent in what we do and the skills that we perform. So it does take a lot of, lot of adequate preparation. Um, but NICC and Kelmer was a great um, institution to get my ADN from. They prepare you very well for that. Um, and that was actually the biggest thing that I looked for in choosing a college um, is because I want to make sure that once you put in all the hard work to become a nurse, I want to make sure that I'm able to pass my boards to make sure that that I'm a, um, a capable of doing so. Yeah. So outside of the technical skills that you've described in regards to boards and obviously we know needles and pulse and some of that stuff, what are the soft skills that you would need to work in this field? communication. Okay. <laughs> communication is key. Regardless of the environment that you're in, you're constantly going to be communicating with healthcare professionals. You're going to be communicating with patients, their families, their caregivers. And, and it's always such a, it's a key component of nursing. Um, you need to make sure that you have those adequate skills to make sure that you're, you're properly, um, executing what you need to do and doing so you need to make sure that you have very effective communication between all members of the disciplinary teams and their patients. 
So when we're talking to high school students, because this is geared for 16, 17 year olds, a sophomore, junior age, yes, and they still have a year or two of high school left, what are the key classes, if they're thinking nurses, that you would plug in high school for them? Yeah. To take? Absolutely. So a big thing, if it's been a little bit while since I was in high school, but um, the classes that I would always recommend since I always wanted to do something medical, I just didn't know really what, um, but like classes like dosage calculation and developmental psych and psychology, chemistry, um, medical terminology, some I know um, facilities offer like A and P one and two, and you actually go to campus for the lab portion, but it's all medical focused. And that's really where we get our, our base is, is in those courses. So to be able to build on that is what we, in what we do with nursing, to be able to have a solid foundation um, is key. It really is. Yeah, that, that makes sense to really have that base before you get into the program and see if that's what you want to do. Absolutely. Um, what would you say is the best part of your job? It's very rewarding. It's nursing is a very challenging career. Um, but it's very, very rewarding, um, to see patients, make see such a difference and regardless of what we're trying to improve with them it's it really is it's life-changing we see patients that were were doubtably dying and now and and now like they're on the upbeat of that and now they're they're excelling so it's it's awesome to see to see that very cool what would you say the most struggling or maybe the downside of the job is seeing those patients that we can no longer help um which i think is important to understand where we can still help these people but we can't help them health wise but we can help them mentally um and i think that's important to understand so even though they may have sought the proper treatment, et cetera, and their prognosis is poor. I think just being there for mental support is, is the big thing. Um, and that even though we're not able to help them anymore with their health, um, that we can help them continue to live the most normal life as possible. You're a very compassionate person. Yes, thank you. Uh, as we come to close here and students watching this, even if they watch this and decide maybe healthcare is not the field for them, mm -hmm. what advice would you have for that 16 year old? Absolutely. So I would just say for a 16 year old that is possibly considering healthcare or nursing, they just to know that nursing is a very challenging career, but it is also even more rewarding. <clears throat> and I would encourage you to take the steps to become a nurse and prepare yourself as this will only help you in the future as far as taking additional courses in high school, etc. Um, there are many encouraging aspects of nursing and there are endless opportunities. If you don't like inpatient, you can go outpatient. If you don't like actually like hands-on-hands -hands patient. Um, you can go into um, administrative or research. Um, but I think it's important that regardless, um, as nurses, you are helping individuals becoming the best version of themselves and you will be trusted by so many people. Um, and, and I will just encourage you to continue to make a difference on a daily basis, whether that be healthcare related or not. Um, and just be the best version of yourself and always continuously working on solid communication skills um, and, just, and just reaching for the stars regardless and just to know that anything is possible um, if you put your mind to it. All right. Well, thank you for your time and your wisdom today, Jess. Yes, you're so welcome, Jamie. Thanks so much for having me.